Erev Tov, I'm Stephen ben Danun, and you're watching Israeli News Live. Today, the rockets continue to fa fall in southern Israel as the uh, Hamas targeted uh, uh, different cities down in southern Israel, including Beersheba. It was reported in Arut Sheva today, said seven rockets fired towards Beersheba, also a barrage of seven rockets from Gaza, uh, hits uh, Beersheba, Ashdod, Esh Ishkol, uh, as, was targeted as well, and yet there is no ceasefire as of yet, and the ground invasion continues, a ground invasion that's well needed if Israel ever intends on being able to stop the rockets that are fired into Israel. Another report coming out of Israel was our new correspondent, Esther, who just arrived back in Jerusalem, uh, excuse me, in Israel a couple of days ago with her husband, uh, had some very interesting things to share with me today. She will actually be joining us tomorrow evening on the evening news on Israeli News Live. It'll be her debut on the, the news channel. But Esther said to me that it was very strange what happened to them as they prepared to leave on the flight back home. Her husband, an Orthodox Jewish brother, goes down to the bank to be able to wire money back home to Israel. But the bank refused. In fact, from what we understand, it has now been something passed by Obama that Jewish people or anyone is not allowed to wire money into Israel. Secondly, as she said, as they arrived at the airport in Tel Aviv, not long afterwards at Ben Gurion Airport, there was another plane that arrived with approximately 400 Orthodox Jews from France. Jews that had been forcibly sent out of the country due to the unrest that is going on in France, the anti-Semitism and the riots that are happening there. And they too found it strange because they were not able to get money out of their own bank accounts. It's very reminiscent of Nazi Germany. And there's many that are saying that Israel, the Jewish people, are about to face another holocaust. With the riots all over the world and the protests regarding the things that are going on in Gaza, where do the Jewish people have a safe place? Only one land in all the world, and yet we're forced to have to divide this land as well. It's just amazing. It brings back to the memory the Word of God that says, Those who divide my land, I'm just paraphrasing, but I will divide theirs. We have interesting news for you tomorrow evening. We'll also be bringing on Anita Fontes as well to speak about the border in the United States and the inside story of what's really going on in Mexico. It'll be interesting to see as well as our correspondent Esther from Israel. We'll be bringing her back on later in the week. We will have Amy from uh, Haifa will be joining us as well to discuss the tensions that are going on around Israel. And, uh, and also later tonight, if you happen to watch uh, the Noon Institute of Biblical Research, it's a special message. Normally we don't mention things like that here on the news, but I think you might want to see it. I'll be speaking on a new revelation that Hashem has revealed, Yeshua Himself revealed to me about the redemption of Israel and what's about to take place. I'm Stephen Ben Danun with Israeli News Live. Shalom and Laila Tov.